Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install BlissOS on VMware Workstation step by step. But before we jump into the installation, let's take a quick look at what is BlissOS actually and why it's worth trying out. So, what is BlissOS? BlissOS is an, an Android based operating system that's designed to run on your PC or laptop, just like Windows or Linux. It's built from the Android uh, open source project and it, and it brings the mobile uh, Android experience to your PC or laptop. You will get all the cool feature of Android but in desktop friendly interface with a windowed apps, taskbar, keyboard and many others. So what can you do with Bliss OS actually? Here is the question. So here is few cool things that you can do with Bliss OS. Run your favorite Android app and games on a big screen. Use messaging app like WhatsApp, Telegram from your PC. Turn an old laptop into a lightweight Android machine. Use it for app development or testing. Or maybe you want just to explore Android in a new way with more control and customization. Plus, BlissOS gives you the option to choose between Google version with G apps and a privacy focused FOSS version with only open sourced apps. Now that you know what BlissOS is and what it can do, let's walk through how to install it on VMware Workstation. First step, before we start the installation, we will need two things. The VMware workstation, if you haven't installed it yeah, yet, I have already made a separate tutorial for that. You can find the link down in the description. And the second thing is the Bliss OS ISO file, the operating system that we are going to install. So to install the operating system, you can go to their official website, just type in Google Bliss OS or blissos.org and you will be redirected to this page, click download in here. You will be redirected to the download section. In our tutorial, we are going to download Bliss OS 16 and then you can download the version that we are talking about. Either the version that supports Google apps and Google services or the free open sources app. In our case, we are going to install the OS that supports Google service. Click on this link down and you will be redirected to the page to download it. Click download on this link and make sure to download the ISO file. Uh, the size is will be two gigabytes. We will continue after the download is done. So after the download is done, we, we are going to move on to work the other the workstation where we are going to create our virtual machine we are installing that OS on it. So open your virtual machine workstation and create new virtual machine and select custom and then go next. Next and then here you can specify the, the ISO file that we already downloaded which is for our OS system. Just go and grab it and there it is, is our ISO file and click and then go next. And then you have to specify that the guest operation, the operating system as Linux and then the version you can put it as other Linux 6.x kernel and then go next. You can rename your machine and to Android for example and then go next specify the number of processor you can keep it one and then give it three cores go next and then allocate let's say 8 gigabyte of RAM then go next and then you have to select use bridged networking in order to able for your uh, virtual machine 
to be connected with your host uh, internet and then go next and then keep it as recommended next next and then keep it next and then we are going to specify the size of the hard disk that we are going to allow to our machine and then store virtual disk as a single file go next next and finish the virtual machine now is created for us and then we are going to power on this virtual machine ah but before that just click on edit virtual machine settings and go to options and advanced and disable side channel mitigation for Hyper-V and then click OK and then power on your virtual device and wait until it's booting and here the installation menu for our OS there is one trick here in order to, to be able to use the arrow key of your keyboard just click with your left mouse here on the machine and then you will discover that the cursor is disappeared so in order to restore back for example your cursor just hold ctrl alt on your keyboard do you see my cursor is back again if you click it will disappear and then you can move the arrows inside and if you hold alt control and boom the cursor is back again so you can move your cursor here so we are going to select installation for sure we are going to install the OS on our virtual machine we are going to wait I'm not going to fast forward the video because maybe we are having some issues so we can uh, fix them together so in here the first thing we had is we need to create partition so as you can see you have to move with your arrow and then click create or modify partition and then click OK for this you just keep it no continue to CF disk and then you have to select DOS go enter and then we have to create our new partition click new with your keyboard just be sure that you are on clicking new and then here is the size that we are going to allocate to our disk 46 gigabyte click enter and then primary enter and then you have to move your arrow to to right click right and then he will ask you are you sure you want to write the partition table to disk and then you have to type yes and then click enter and then you can go quit after quitting it will restart the installer and as you can see our partition is existing now so we have to select that SDA partition and click OK and then select ext4 as uh, system uh, file system format and then go OK and then let's keep it bliss OS and then are you sure you want to format immediately that partition and then click yes it's getting it's formatting the the disk that you we already created and then would you like to uh, the installer to prepare for auto update just say no we don't need that and do you want to install grub bootloader yes and then the installation will be starting and as you can see after the, the installation is done you just have to click reboot and then ok and the system will reboot and then here is the, the bootloader and make sure to go to VM options and then select VBOX VMware no hardware acceleration 
and then click enter and our new system will be booting on our new virtual machine just wait for it until it's fully done and here is the logo of the OS it takes some minutes to fully set up everything and then you can start using it of course there is the welcome message and then you have to click start over it changes the language of course if you need to change your language click start set up offline and you have no need to connect to wi-fi for now continue next it's like setting up device or android device for the first time protect not now skip anyway so here is our device and you just have to swipe up to open and then you have just select the launcher 3 and set it up always and here is our main screen and yeah so uh, another thing if you need for example to change this configuration of the display just go to settings to your virtual machine go to display and then you have to if you want to free free stretch to make it fully full screen and it won't be so it won't look so nice so if you need that just have to change that parameter in here in my case we are going to make it keep aspect ratio stretch because it looks the best in here so yeah that's it for today's video if you have any issues or any problem related to that just let me know in comment section below and uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials.